Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Mary Jane Mack Show on Transformation Talk Radio. So excited to be here. Here with Mary Jane and Benny. Hi, ladies. How are you? Good. We're well. How are, How are you, you doing this beautiful, sunny weather? We're doing awesome. Doing awesome. You got to stay cool out there. It'll hit us a little bit later. So, yeah. Yeah, Look lots alive. of water. Yep. Stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. Stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. Get the um, fans going. Get the fans going. <laughs> and if, for those of you who are blessed, turn that air conditioning up. <laughs> Notice I said blessed. I'm not one of the blessed ones today. So I'll have my fans a whirling. All right. So, all right. We all have to stop laughing now. I am your co host, Nancy, and I'm here with my mom, Mary Jane Mack, who is a holistic intuitive. She has an office in Issaquah, Washington. She's been there since 1992. She does the TAPS system, the Oh, I always mess up. The Accelerated Performance Technique. System. System. <laughs> the heat has gotten to her. The heat is, yeah, the heat has gotten to me. I'm not a fan <laughs> of the heat. Not a fan of the heat at all. And it's a little warm in the control room here. <laughs> so it's, it's a form of muscle testing your body to find out what your nutritional deficiencies are. And then what Mary Jane does is recommends the proper nutrition that gets into your body, feeds it, supports it, and brings your body back into balance so that you can be at your optimal health. And today's topic is your body has the ability to heal itself, and it really does if you have Mary Jane <laughs> there to figure out what's going on. So It's mom, just a faster journey if we figure it out and you take the, the right path and you stop guessing and going and trying to figure out what it is. So she's uh, she's got the gift, a holistic intuitive. She, she's she been blessed with this gift. In the beginning, the whole family thought she was a little crazy, a little out there when she started with this technique. We all kind of got together as a family, excluded her, and said, I think we need to get some professional help. <laughs> she's kind of <laughs> kind of out there. But it has turned into a extremely successful um, journey for her and she has clients all over the United States and uh, the beauty of it is if you don't live in the beautiful Pacific Northwest uh, she has clients all over the United States and she can do the same thing by phone so she's pretty spectacular blessed to have her also just on a personal note like to wish her and my dad a happy anniversary 54 fun filled years so <laughs> Hope you have many, many more fun-filled years uh, coming up. Well, thank you, Nancy. You're very welcome, Mom. Just blessed to have such great parents. So if you have a question for Mary Jane, it could be about you. It could be about a family member. She also does pets, cats, dogs, horses. Those are pretty much the the usual pets. I mean, maybe some goats and llamas, but mainly we're talking (laughs) dogs, dogs and cats and horses. Give us a call at 1-800-930-2819. So, our body can heal itself. And we're looking forward to your calls. Okay, so the checklist of common health issues, Mary Jane. Well, we've been talking about that the last few shows, about uh, all the usual things that show up and also some of the emotional components attached to them. And remember, every health issue has an emotional component behind it. And uh, when that, the energy uh, to that emotion, when you experience an emotion, uh, whether it's real or not real, and what I mean by that is if somebody came to your door, for example, and said that your husband was injured in an accident, and then later you found that it's how you took it in at that moment, and later you found out that really wasn't your husband, you still experience that emotion, and it gets stored in your organ. It's kind of like shock to the heart. Yeah. Your heart takes on a a shock, and then the the emotional component is stored in an organ. Right, and it changes the vibration of your body. And it depends on how you heal with that in the future, how that affects you long term. Whether So when you experience that emotion, every time you experience an emotion similar to it, then that gets stored in that same organ. And then when, when that organ's energy is so full is when you start experiencing uh, physical symptoms. And sometimes that could be five years down the road. 
what I see with many cancer patients <clears throat> or people who have heart issues also, it's usually five years before, five, six, in that time frame, where something happened that set it in motion. And that could be, like, for again, for cancer people, it could be, uh, especially women with breast cancer, it could be relationship issues. Uh, they, they ended a relationship. They got a divorce, um, something similar to that. And they never were able to process it or get through it. Still carried a lot of emotion and a lot of anger over it. And then it manifested into cancer. And uh, so that's that's why when you have emotional issues, you want to get it figured out and not carry that on with you because it, the only one you hurt is yourself. So, and we've talked about this before, just uh, identifying that emotion starts the process of being able to release the energy and move forward. Exactly. And you know what's really interesting? I've been talking about this for years, about how energy work and how going to different uh, alternative techniques, how you can heal your body faster versus going to regular therapy and talking to somebody sometimes for years. And you still have the same issue. You never get beyond it. Well, what's interesting now is uh, recently in California, in San Francisco, there was a huge uh, symposium uh, from with psychiatrists, psychologists, all types of uh, therapeutic uh, uh, practitioners who are now introducing energy healing into their practice because they found that all this talking through the years doesn't necessarily get people well No, or it takes too long. Uh, Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, I've, I've been seeing someone for the past five years. I'm thinking, man, I wasn't well. After the first year, I think I'd move on and try and find something else. (laughs) Exactly. So it's so I find that really, really interesting. And right now, there this technique it's it's huge because it's not fine tuned yet. So, but there are practitioners, psychologists teaching the technique to other practitioners. So you're people you're going to hear about it pretty more out there uh, of this new energy healing technique by the the practitioners to help you get better faster. So I think that's pretty exciting. I mean, even w- uh, with what the direction that it's going. Alternative seems to work. We have a caller. Let's go to Denise in Renton. Hi, Denise. How are you? Hi, great. How about you? I'm doing very well. What's your question for Mary Jane? Yeah, I've had low energy for several years now and also have some kind of irritation, skin irritation. Can you see what's going on? Well, you have a, do you have a digestive issue, Denise? Oh, I'm sure I do, but I've been working on it for years. <laughs> well, for years you've had the digestive issue, and what you've got is a gallbladder issue. Your body is a two straight across. I mean, when you have a gallbladder issue that's a two and your bile duct is a two, remember the bile duct puts, uh, uh, helps the liver produce bile, bile. And that bile goes through the gallbladder, and then it gets dumped into the intestine to help you digest your food. Well, when those are a two, then that that means all your other organs are backed up to a two. So now your heart is functioning at a two, your hormones, your spleen, all your pancreas, everything is in low gear. It's like you got a plug in your system, and nothing is working properly. Your like thyroid. A- is that like a plug in the gallbladder with all the sludge, so it's just moving super slow? Or not moving at all. When it's a two, it's barely, it's not much is happening. You're you're what I call in a crisis. And you've, so been, have... you've been like this for, for 18 months, this, this, in this particular position, you might have had it before that, but been not quite so bad. Well, I have Graves' disease. So about 20-some years ago, I drank the radioactive iodine, which killed off too much of my thyroid. Right. And so I was on Synthroid, and then I went on to Natrostroid. And Natrostroid was tough on me, but I'd, I'd rather do the Natrostroid than go back on Synthroid. Well, the, the thing is, even though you're on medication, your thyroid isn't functioning. You're still not getting what you what you should out of it. Because of your gallbladder. 
It's like when people have a bad gallbladder, like where you're at right now, even if you're taking medication and, and other things, people aren't feeling good because nothing's working the way it should if your body isn't able to process it. And if your digestion is off, you're not able to absorb any kind of medication that you are taking. Or nutrition, or uh, you would have to even be careful what you take because you can't break it down and absorb it. So uh, do you take any other supplements? Oh, yeah. I mean, I take, like, vitamin D and fish oil, and um, I take a lot, quite a few other things. Too. Yeah. See, now, you're taking a lot of supplements, but you're still a two overall. So what you're doing is not really doing anything for you. You have to get to the nitty-gritty of what's going on. And, you know, you could always call our office and talk to Rhonda and get an appointment, and we could get you on the right track to get you out of this. Because there's no... electrolytes off, too, then? Everything is off. Your brain is tired. Everything is off. You're you're walking around... Again, you're walking around a 2 out of a 10. So when you get... When you're on the proper program to get that gallbladder and liver working and get, get your kidneys functioning, clearing things out, then you start feeling better because right now you get a lot of toxins in your joints, you ache, uh, you can have pain in your body, you can have fatigue, foggy thinking, uh, it just goes on and on. You could have heart palpitations, racing heart, all those things come with the gallbladder. Okay, great. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Thank you, Denise. If you'd like to make an appointment with Mary Jane, give her office a call at 888-777-4232. Time for us to take a quick break. You are listening to The Mary Jane Mack Show on Transformation Talk Radio. Brand consultant and coach Jen Morgan is here with Radically Distinct Radio to help maximize your brand's power to produce results. Whether you're a person with a dream and unsure where to start or a CEO of a successful company wondering what's next, Jen Morgan and the RAD Method empowers you to play to your strengths and focus your competitive edge so you can show up in the world as your most powerful brand. Go to JenMorgan.com or call 206-972-5366. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Tune in to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Claire Florence, Artie Hoffman, and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Are you anxious? Worried or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. 
Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Mary Jane Mack Show on Transformation Talk Radio. Good, good little tunes there, Benny. Thank you very much. You okay over there, Mary Jane? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we up. are just having <laughs> so excited to be back. So right. much fun so in excited. the studio today. It's always a party here with the three of us. So, all right, our topic today is your body has the ability to heal itself. However, it needs one important thing. Mary Jane. <laughs> needs Mary Jane to figure out exactly what's going on and where you're off. And she has that ability to do that because she's a holistic intuitive. So it's pretty special. She's my mom. Pretty proud. Pretty lucky. Oh, thank you, Nancy. You're very welcome, Mom. Okay. Hey, we have another caller. Let's go to Renee. Hi, Renee. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing very well. Do you have air conditioning or a fan? Fan. Yeah, I know. Isn't that depressing? <laughs> I, I, I like your I like that fan. I know. It is so disturbing. <laughs> I uh, know it's great until a certain time of the day, and then and then you're just, just yeah, yep, yep, you're yep. hating life. You're hating life. You're like, okay, where can I go? Where it's cool? I know exactly. It's, sit in your yep. car in the parking lot. So, okay, <laughs> what is your question for Mary Jane? <laughs> uh, well, um, what you both said earlier about um, you know uh, trying some body work rather than talking therapy yes. helps, and um, I feel like I've um, gotten myself out of a toxic work environment. Um, I, you know, I don't take any prescription drugs, but I feel like I should be doing better physically, if that makes any sense. And I have gone to an acupuncturist once, so I thought maybe I was on the right track, but I just thought I'd call and get your take. Well, great. Well, it's interesting bringing up that question because next month on our show, we're going to have a guest, uh, Janelle uh, Davidson, Janelle Davidson, who does energy healing and emotional freedom technique. And um, so the work that she does is, is she does Reiki with the energy healing. She's phenomenal. And she I, does reflexology. So okay. what's great about her is she she can clear, you know, you're doing like these things and acupuncture is great for you. Um, your what I pick up first is some emotional or your brain is tired first. That's the main thing that's going on with you. Your body is pretty tests pretty good, but your brain oh, but your brain is tired, okay. and and also there's some emotional stuff there. So mm-hmm. and we all have it. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're you're no exception. We all have it. But going to somebody who does uh, clearing your energy can be very fast and very effective and you you notice a difference in a short time and that's what why I I go to Janelle and I absolutely love her and sometimes you don't notice a difference when you're when you're walking out of the office but like it's a process 24 48 hours things are changing and you 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 can feel those changes and notice a difference so that's why I recommend other things other uh, modalities that are quicker, faster, because when you're clearing your energy, it's like uh, a clean sweep of the old stuff off of you is the way you could describe it. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. awesome. It's absolutely the most amazing thing. I go to Janelle as well. It is the best hour and a half you will ever spend. I mean, it's just, and you can go in and sometimes you'll be extremely heavy. And then by the end of your session, you're completely, you feel so much lighter. You're not sure exactly well, what happened, but you, you feel lighter. And we'll we'll talk a little more about that. But you know, she does the the three techniques: the emotional freedom, the tapping, and so you can go. You could look her up on your website too. You could go for any any one thing. You could go for the emotional freedom, for the energy healing, or the reflexology. 
Uh, we prefer to go for all three. Yeah, we do all three. <laughs> and it, you know, the thing is, it doesn't, you know, even if you do the uh, tapping, it's very quick and simple. It's not complicated. You don't have to really drag a lot of stuff up. You kind of get into it and clear it. That's why I love it. I love techniques where you don't have to go on and on and on. So, yeah, you recognize the emotion, and Janelle will help walk you through that. And the other beautiful thing about that is she, she you know, will help you to do that on yourself. So if something comes up, you're able to tap it out really quick. So she's pretty amazing. So what can we do for Renee's tired brain then? Is that is it just all emotional? So do you do, are you, are you doing acupuncture? What else are you doing, Renee? Um, I just, you know, getting some physical activity every day, being outside. Um, I've been spending a lot of time in my garden. Do you feel tired or a little bummed out at all? Um, sometimes, um, like the last few days, I've been feeling a little more up and a little more energetic, but it seems to go, it seems to be kind of erratic. Some days I feel like I'm really dragging and. Yeah, your brain is kind of, your brain, the front part of your brain is really low. That means you need natural lithium. And then it goes to a little bit higher, but then I judge everything from zero to 10, and every number means something. So Mm -hmm. then your brain goes to a six, so that means the nerves to your brain need help. That's like folic acid. And the ner- that means the nerves to your eyes, to your ears, and that has to do with being a little melancholy sometimes. Oh. So your your brain is low, and when your brain is real low, that's when you don't think clear, you're not as sharp, your memories, you can't remember things. Uh, th- th- we use uh, products to take care of that. That uh, We have a lot of CEOs, kids in college. Um, it makes a big difference, and it doesn't. it's just where you need to be balanced. And then also the back of your brain, the cerebellum is off. That that when that's off, you can be a little spacey, a little foggy. Mm-hmm. Do you ever drool? Oh my god! That's <laughs> what <laughs> I know of. No, well sometimes they, sometimes when people drool, that's the lack of cerebral spinal fluid in their brain. Well, let me let, let, not to interrupt me, James. Let's just, Renee, she's talking about if you ever fall asleep and then you wake up and you realize you have a little drool, not just like sitting there, you know, drooling oh, okay, uncontrollably. Yeah. yeah, so I'm talking about if you if you happen to like afternoon, you find yourself dozing off and then all of a sudden you wake up and your chin's a little wet and it's like, oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> That's what she's talking about, so the when, drooling. Yeah, so when that okay. happens, your your the back of your brain is low. Now, that can happen from you being really tired or someone around you being very tired, and then they're drawing off you. They're sucking your energy. So energy is infinite. 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 And that (laughs) means that even if you talk to somebody on the telephone, they can draw off you. If somebody's the other part of the world, they could draw off you. It doesn't matter. If you think of them or they think of you, they could tap into you. So and then that that lowers your uh, your brain power, and then you you get that spacey, foggy feeling, and that that happens to a lot of people in the work area, people they're working with or family. Mm-hmm. So that's where you're really off. Your ba- your brain needs to be balanced, but the rest of your body tests really pretty good. Oh, good way to okay. go, Renee. Yeah. Wow. So you can, <laughs> yeah, give us a call and. Come on in, and we'll put you on a program. You'll be real easy. You'll be real easy. Racing? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Thank You're you, Renee. Welcome. Have a have a lovely afternoon, and enjoy that fan. All right. If you have a question for Mary Jane, give us a call at 888-777-4232. All right. It's Time for us to take a short break. You are listening to the Mary J. Mack Show and Transformation Talk Radio. We'll catch you on the other side. Searching, looking for a sign, a message you need to hear from the great unknown, from the most mysterious place, 
that is the most familiar to your soul in the depths of who you are. The universe puts someone here to talk to, someone God gave a blessing to that you may find insight with. TheAngelLady.net, 1-800-323-1790. Tune in to The Michael Shane Show the third Tuesday of each month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com and connect with the ascended beings to raise your vibration and manifest the life you desire. Get ready to receive healing through the transphysical mediumship of Reverend Michael Shane and the ascended beings. Visit MichaelShane.com. That's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, Shane.com, and call 425-971-6632 to schedule your full healing session now. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine. If you get clear and then return to the old patterns and blocks and your answer to that healing is that you can't or you have to, then you may have a lot of fear that keeps you from choosing your greater good. There's no shame in not being ready. It just may not be time. But if it comes around again, let's try again. We shut ourselves down because we can't imagine another way of handling situations. Source is unlimited. Let's let go of the I can'ts and have to's and see what shows up. If you're ready to shift into your best life, visit LeslieFontaine.com and let's talk about unfolding all that you want to be, do, and have. You'll find sessions, classes, and audio products to help remove the blocks and move you into your potential. And listen to my show, Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Mary Jane Mack Show on Transformation Talk Radio. I'm your co-host, Nancy. I'm here with Mary Jane and Benny, who's given us those awesome jams. See what I can <gasps> do for you. I like it. We're doing some cheer dancing in the studio today. <laughs> okay. We have another caller. We're going to go to Michelle. Hi, Mich- from, yeah, Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Great. What's your question for Mary Jane? Well, I've been on a long journey to just try to make myself a healthy self, and I've you know had a lot of roadblocks along the way, and right now I'm just really trying to lose weight, build energy, um, but I feel like something you know something else is going on with me, and I was hoping that maybe she could point me in the right direction. All right, I'm just gonna tap in and figure out exactly what's going on with you. I am here. <laughs> um, so I, I couldn't understand exactly what you said. What What did you say? She's trying to lose some weight. Oh, okay. she's, she's trying to, you know, get on the health track. She just wants to find it. She feels like there's something missing. So she wants okay. to figure out where she's at. Where is her So how is your digestion, Michelle? Um, well, I, I think it's okay. Um, Do you get bloated? I, yeah, I, I guess, yes. I do have a lot of bloating, and that's rather new. Okay. Um, okay. Um, do you get gassy? Yes. Okay. So again, you, that, you know, that's, that's new also. But, okay. So um, what you have is a gallbladder issue. So it's your gallbladder and your bile duct. 
that shows up first, and then your kidneys are third. So your digest, okay. so uh, your gallbladder is a three. So it's not two is pretty bad. So it's a three. You're a step above it, which probably you don't have stones in there, but you got a lot of heavy sludge. And when the, I, yeah, I don't have a gallbladder actually. Okay, when you don't have a gallbladder and it shows up, we treat it the same way because your liver takes over for your gallbladder. And when you have your gallbladder out, you can still have the same issues. So we use a little different product when the gallbladder is out, another product that helps create more bile salt. But whenever an organ isn't there and I pick that up, we still use that same nutrition and the liver is your backup organ that utilizes that just as if you had the gallbladder and helps you out because you still have the same issue. When did you have your gallbladder out? Um, a little over seven years ago. Okay. And how have you been since you had the gallbladder out? Um, well, it's, I mean, it's been just different, different issues for me. Um, you know, I, a little over a year ago, had to have half of my thyroid removed, um, and a hysterectomy. And so, you know, not good. Like, like I feel like every time I start to make progress, I have something else come up. Exactly, because your foundation is Which is why is I think, like, yeah, so I just, I feel like I, I want to just be on the right path, and finding it is really confusing. So what I pick up, first of all, is, you know, whenever anybody has a gallbladder bile duct issue, you have to deal with that first. That shows up as a priority. So unless we take care of that, Like, even if you came to me and said you had these other issues, uh, you wouldn't jump to those things because your body cannot handle the nutrition and digest and absorb. So once we take care of the gallbladder and the the bile duct, a lot of other things get better. But underneath, I think that you also have a kidney issue. And that means your kidney is full of sludge and inflamed. And when you're, do you have low back pain? Sometimes, and yeah, lately I've had just just this um, side pains. Right. But they come and go. It's it, A lot has to do with your, your kidney being inflamed. So when the kidney is inflamed, the, that inflammation can cause all kinds of other problems in your body. And even like with the gallbladder and the liver backed up, the liver is like a master hormone. So if the liver is backed up, it's going to affect your hormones and how you feel. When the kidney is inflamed, you can have back pain, you can have joint pain, not feel good. It could cause it, it causes more inflammation, can cause tooth decay, mouth issues, uh, ear issues, uh, ringing in the ear. Both those things can cause that. So digestive issues. So there's th- those two organs or three things that you have can cause a lot of other problems. And that's also part of the weight too. Exactly. Having... When you're when the when you're out of balance like this, your body will not let go of the weight. And even if you went on a strict diet and lost weight, you would probably gain it right back. Because when you're trying to lose weight, all that waste has to go through the gallbladder and liver. You're detoxing it and then it goes through the kidney. And if your kidney is already sludged up, it can't handle that, and then it that so your body doesn't let go of it. You go into okay. a stall. So what you have is not complicated to take care of. You just have to be what I am is just very specific to what your body needs and give you what you need. Then we know we have really good results. And you know when you've had the issues you've had. Those are all like little red flags. Things are going on. What's really what's really going on with you and um, getting you on the right track so you get these things, uh, you recognize what's happening and you do what you need to stay healthy and figure out what emotional issues are going on that are stirring you up and, and bringing these things up. Yeah, because it sounds like you start to get better and then, as you said, something else shows up. So what... What's what's emotion- underneath? Yeah, it. what's emotionally underneath that that you're unable to you know feel great all the time? And those are all things that can be 
handled quickly and easily. It doesn't have to take a long time. Get on the right nutrition. You figure out what those emotional components are. Mary Jane can also help with that. And, you know, you could you can get on that path to greatness sooner than you think. Well, and when you have, remember, gallbladder issues are resentment, liver is anger, and kidney is fear. So do any of those resonate with you? All of them. <laughs> well, you know what, Renee or Michelle? They Everybody has them. Yeah. Yep, we all, Michelle, we all have. But yours are, see, everybody has them, but then they start manifesting in disease. And that's what you don't want. And when you have an inflamed kidney, then that can go to more different types of other diseases and issues in the body. And you definitely don't want that. But once you get on the right nutrition and then we work with what's going on with you, we figure that out. Because I help you do the whole thing. It's it's a whole package. You can't do the, the nutrition and not figure out what's going on with you. And okay. and then you yeah. then you totally start to get well. How's that sound, Michelle? And and with the muscle testing sure. I can muscle test and figure out exactly, you know, what happened, when it happened, and you'll know I mean I can pinpoint the time, the year and you'll know exactly what it was, and then you start that process of uh, letting go. Okay. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, and and I yeah I can I can pinpoint you know certain things too and along the way, so I kind of know and um, some of those emotional pieces. But yes, yeah, so it sounds great. All right. Yeah. So Michelle. give us a call. I'd be happy to help you. It's it's. Like I said, it's not that complicated, and it when you start to feel well, it's you get you'll know because you'll have the results. What I do is very specific. I do the the t- taps technique, and in that system, figure out exactly what you need, and then we have predictable results. And when I tell you what you need, I'm not guessing. I know that's exactly what you need because your body tells her. Yes. So go so. ahead and give Mary Jane's office a call, get an appointment set up, and get on that path to to wellness. So, okay. All right. Thank you yes, so thanks. much, Michelle. Thank you. All right. Mary Jane's office number is 888-777-4232. And again, that's you you do the whole package. Mental physical, emotional, structural? Well, we do, we work on the structural. Uh, we, we, I do cranial release technique and also refer you to other body work possibly or chiropractic work. So you don't have to be in my office and, you know, you, you that it's all an important part of getting but well. Just so Michelle knows, you're able to, like you said, you can tell you, she'll tell you exactly what nutrition you need and she'll be able to tell you when those emotional things happen. She'll say four years ago, you know, and it's amazing because a lot of our clients will go, oh my gosh, that's right. That, that did happen. I didn't think it affected me that way, but it, it does. I love how Mary Jane always asks everybody, so how's your, how's your digestion? Everybody's like, oh, it's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> and then, and then she starts asking a few more questions. So you get bloated. Well, yeah. You sometimes get gassy. Yeah, so obviously it's all a matter of what we get used to. And well, and, and the other part of that is, you know, when people ask ask you something, you're just used to saying, oh, I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. For those of our listeners who are new, I know you've talked a lot about the sludge, sludge in the uh, gallbladder, sludge in your kidney, sludge in your liver. Can you tell us how we get sludge? From the foods you eat, processed food, uh, microwave food, microwave food, um, dead food, food that's not alive, and you know even uh, explain dead food. Okay, what what I do Left is overs. score everything zero to ten, and if it's a six or less, when you muscle test, and a lot of my clients have learned how to muscle test. So when it's it's a low energy, then you're going to gain weight and it's not good for you. Like leftovers over three days in the refrigerator. If, they, if you're going to keep something more than three days, it should go in the freezer. Because by that time, it's every day it loses some energy and it's no longer as fresh as when you made it. So you want to try and eat things when they're the best that they are or put them in the freezer. 
And uh, so if you if you're eating old food, then that gets slows your body down. It's like if the energy is low when you eat it, the energy in your body is low, slows things down. And if you have a gallbladder that's not in very good working condition, now everything's moving through slower so it doesn't move through efficiently. So now it gets what I call sludged up, gets backed up. And that's when you start having symptoms. And when a kidney gets backed up, then you have a lot of digestive issues, a lot of irritable bowel, irritable bowel colitis, uh, and it, conditions like that in your bowel go back to the kidney. And and you look at what's going on with the kidney. That's where the kidney can have the sludge or it could be inflamed. It can go either way. Another way the kidney gets backed up is from the drains in the house. And so it's like when you you, you clean your drains with often with uh, baking soda and vinegar. And uh, when, it, when you're you think about your drains. There's a lot of mold and slime and hair and junk and dirt. Disgusting things down, down there. those drains. And if you live in an apartment or a condo or a, a building complex, they're, they're going to be worse because you have other, even though you they have these traps and all these things they shouldn't back up, they do back up. And the gases back up, and that's what you're breathing in. And it gives you a toxic stomach and then causes the kidney to be inflamed. And- it could be sinus conditions, and and when your drains are bad in the house, it can also affect your pets. Your dogs all of a sudden can be itching a lot more than they normally did. So, well, and somebody called me the other day, and they said, "Oh my, my bladder! I have this major had this major bladder issue, where she had urgency and had to go to the bathroom immediately, and um, it and she wanted to know why that happened, and it was her drains, her drains had gotten so backed up." That she got a toxic stomach and then all those poisons go through the bladder and the kidney and cause that. And yeah. then, but it, with nutrition and certain products, you clean that up pretty right good, away. Right away. Yeah. All right. If you have a question for Mary Jane, give us a call at 888 777 4232. Time for us to take a short break. You're listening to the Mary Jane Mack Show on Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Vadili. All you need to do is visit his website, atanamethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A method.com and sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's atanamethod.com. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you and your family looking for one manageable lifestyle change that will positively impact your health? Look no further. That change begins inside your drinking glass. Learn how to put a lid on junk drinking by sipping from a recipe collection of colorful, fresh, tasty, wholesome fruit and vegetable blends. Get your copy now of Sip the Garden. Fun, easy drinks for a healthier family by T. Carey Mitchell. Visit lifestyle120.com for information on how to order. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 
This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Mary J. Mack Show and Transformation Talk Radio. I'm your co-host, Nancy, and I'm here with Benny and Mary Jane. And today we're talking about how your body can heal itself. And like I said before, it needs one special tool, and that tool is Mary Jane being the holistic intuitive. So you don't have to live in the Seattle area like our last caller, Michelle, who's in Cincinnati, you can do a phone appointment, and Mary Jane's able to walk you through, and you get the exact same treatment as you do in her office. So if you'd like to make an appointment with Mary Jane, give her office a call at 888-777-4232. And for that body to heal itself, you have to do some of the right things. Exactly. <laughs> Start with your diet. Your well, food pro- and your food program. Let's well, call it a food program. Well, the, yeah, diet's such an ugly word. But uh, I wanted to mention when your gallbladder's off, a lot of people are eating probably all the wrong things. They're trying to eat super healthy, lots of raw things, you know, vegetables and whatnot, which you can't digest because if your gallbladder's already backed up, those good foods just make it worse. So don't you need to eat like... I like to say mushy foods, like, well, no. You can eat you know, steamed foods, steamed, steamed vegetables. You want to, you know, you don't like, want raw carrots. You don't want raw celery. Right. You want to have, like, cooked carrots or um, canned is not the word. Any cooked for. fresh vegetable yeah. or, or fruit. frozen. Yeah. Uh, not fresh fruit necessarily, but those fruit cups that are in their natural so, juice. Well, sometimes yes, when you're really in a bad crisis, it's the, well, we if had you a eat who was it? Yeah, if you two. eat milder for a week and eat like fruit that's packed in its own juice, we're thinking, you know, it's still good, still natural. Uh it's easier on your digestion for a short time so you could get out of that crisis faster. I like to think of those foods that, you know, kind of disintegrate quickly and are able to like slide right through well they they're easy to digest is what the whole thing is when they're when they're canned they're easier to digest and then you you know you don't get as bloated and and it gives your body a time to with the nutrition to make things work and get things better without you being so uncomfortable exactly so if those of you who did call who have bad gallbladders think of steamed steam foods not heavy foods and uh, fruit cups. And what what juices. are you what you know? Get rid of the processed food, the microwave. Uh, think about what, look. Take a look at what you are doing, and how's it working for you? And it, a food program is a a lifetime change. You take it one step at a time, and you go uh, in a direction that you're going to be in and stay in for the rest of your life. That that will make a difference for your health. And today, you know, there's a lot of, um, you hear much more talk about organic and good food and uh, even restaurants trying to do the right thing. But remember, even when restaurants or fast food restaurants are labeling things as uh, whole food or natural, you got to think about it. And it may not be exactly what you think, so you have to look into it further and not trust it totally. I would like to say there is a commercial about um, all organic chicken. I want to know what was it before? It all of a sudden is now all organic chicken. <laughs> but what was it before? <laughs> 
so yeah, so it's very interesting that uh, you know everybody's trying. Everybody's trying, right? So and the thing with chicken, you know, some of the things that are important to eat is chicken without antibiotics or hormones and eggs without antibiotics or hormones. Those are the two. You know, when you're eating those and you're eating more of that, you're getting all those hormones. It's pretty bad for you. And then if you're getting fish, it should be wild fish, not uh, farm raised. Not farm raised. So those are some basic things. And remember, sometimes even organic may not be alive. It, you have to look at it and know, uh, does it look fresh or does it look a little bit old and not so fresh? So you always want something that looks like it has some life to it. And I always remember to use a, a fruit and veggie wash for your fruits and vegetables, regardless if they're organic or not organic, just always... To handle them. And you could use uh, apple cider vinegar diluted in water. Or you put the apple cider vinegar in the sink, fill it with water, and uh, throw all your veggies and fruit in it, and just soak it, and let all that all that stuff come out of it. And it's real simple, and it makes a huge difference. Yeah, huge difference. I mean, well, when you think about it, I'm sure other people have touched that fruit that you've got at home, so you just want to wash it anyway and kind of disinfect it. So yeah, and especially the bags of lettuce that those are bad. Those are bad. They say you know they're all fresh, but they're People get more diarrhea and problems after they eat those bags of lettuce than other things. So you want to get fresh. Okay. So the other thing is get get out and exercise, go for a walk, uh, do some things for yourself to help you feel better, uh, maybe meditate or just listen to good music. Uh, the biggest thing is being grateful, being grateful for what you have and start making a list of all the good things that are going on for you. Uh, instead of focusing on what's not working for you, and write a list of what you want. What do you want to feel like? What What does that look like? How would that feel if you were healthy? And and the, so when you write it out and are clear, then that's the direction you're going. You attract that into your life. Well, that's, we had um, a couple of shows ago, we did our I am lists and statements. So it's a reminder to to get your I am list going and, and add to it and think about what you want and stare at of where you are. And like you said, be grateful. You know, where you are is not where you have to stay. Right. And you have to write it down. If you don't write it down, then then it's like you're just, it's going around in your head, but it's not real. When you write it down and start doing a checklist, where you are, what do you want, where are you going? Well, what is your, what do you want to create in your life? And the people that do that, on a regular basis, attain those goals and attract those wonderful things in your life, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a uh, something for a yourself, house, a house, money, car, money. Yeah. It, when you're focused on what you want instead of what's not working, that's what comes into your life. And we all have those those thoughts that come in that are, are negative that try and pull you out of your your happy place, your focus place. And uh, when those always pop into my head, I'm always like, yep, okay, I'm aware of it, but let's get back on track. Or my other favorite uh, saying is, be here now. Be in the present. Exactly. Be in the present. And just worry about yourself. You cannot change anyone else or fix anyone else. Unless they want to be fixed. Well, you can't, they have to do it themselves. So you have to just take care of yourself. You could send positive energy to those people, but tr stop trying to fix them because it doesn't work. Even if you do try and f do you do think you can fix it, it's not going to last. They ha it's Everybody has their own journey and it's their own process and it's about learning on the way. And if they don't lear learn those lessons, then you have to really do it over. The universe is always nudging you in the right direction. So pay attention to what what that is and don't ignore those little nudges. Yeah, because sometimes if you're not paying attention, you get kind of a little tap and you get maybe a nudge and you get like a, a push and then sometimes it could be a, an extreme push and it's kind of like, oh, what am I not getting? <laughs> so, and, re and remember, every life experience you have in the past and now takes you to who, where you're going, and makes you who you are today. 
I'd like to thank everybody for listening. I hope you all have a fabulous day. For those of you with air conditioning, invite those friends in who don't. All right. Take care, and we will be with you next month. Thanks for listening to the Mary J. Mack Show on Transformation Talk Radio. I can do it.